Hello everybody, this is Johnny. Let's make a game together. For this game we will need some paper, something to write with, some coins, a marker, and at least one dice. Oh, and a bear. So let's go ahead and make our game board. We'll take our paper, turn a little bit sideways like this, and the first thing we want to do is make a big rectangle. So let's find about the midpoint here, maybe an inch or so down from the top, and do the same at the bottom down here. And near the edge, a little bit in, another dot, and another dot over here. Let's go ahead and join those. And we should have a nice rectangle. That looks good. Now we need a triangle. So over in this space here, let's put a dot here, a dot here, and come on up and make a dot up here, and join this to make a triangle. Now we're going to need some numbers for this game. Let's start by putting a middle mark on each of the edges of this triangle, and then about halfway up, another one another one, another one, another one, another one, and another one. For this game, we'll need the numbers 12, 16, 18, 20, 24, 30, 36, 40, and 48. We're also going to need some special numbers. Let's write those down here. One half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, one eighth, and one tenth. Still more numbers. Let's find the middle of this rectangle and put the number four and put these numbers in this order. It will help the game. Four, five, and six. And over here, we need to have three and twenty-four. About down here, let's go ahead and put eight, nine, ten, twelve, and three. And on the bottom row, four, five, six, eight, and nine. And across here, 9, 10, 12, 16, and 20. And on the top row, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8. Now we need to give our game a name. This game is called Fraction Action. Make a little drawing here. Let's see. A little curve here, a little curve down here, maybe a line coming down. Like this. Let's draw two circles here. Finish this up. Let's make these into fractions too. Uh, maybe fill this one up. And this one. This one. And maybe we need some antennas. Looks good. Fraction action. So let's try out our game. What a good game board we've made. In this game, Jules will be playing against Tom. And Jules and Tom are trying to make four in a row on this grid here using what they know about fractions of numbers. So we need a marker on our triangle. I'm going to use a triangle itself. We use the dice and we're going to need some coins too. In this game jewels will be copper and Tom will be silver. And let's start. 
The triangle starts at the very top for the first roll, and Jules rolls a five. Counting around the edge, one, two, three, four, five, Jules has gotten to 24. What Jules wants to do is take the number 24 and think about fractions of 24, either half of 24, a third of 24, a fifth, a fourth of 24, a fifth of 24, an eighth of 24, or a tenth of 24, and choose numbers to put markers down on this grid, trying to get four in a row, either vertically or horizontally or diagonally. So Jules looks at 24, and Jules knows that half of 24 is 12. Well, there's a 12 there and a 12 there. Jules also knows that 24 can be made into thirds. A third of 24 is 8. So there's an 8 there, and there's another 8 here, and another 8 here. A fourth of 24 is 6. 6 or 6 or 6 here. A fifth of 24, not possible in this game. So we'll not use this one, but an eighth of 24 is three. So a choice of threes, and there are three threes. And a tenth of 24, not really possible. So Jules is going to choose either the 12, the eight, the six, or the three, and put one of her markers down on the board here. She likes this one because it's so central in the game and so many possibilities. It's going to be Tom's turn now. Tom rolls the dice and rolls a three. One, two, three, moves it to 40. And now Tom is looking to put his marker on this board anywhere. So we take 40. A half of 40 is 20. Well, we see at least one of those. A third of 40, not so pretty. A fourth of 40 is 10. We see a couple of those. A fifth of 40 is 8. Well, there's some 8s on the board as well. 8, 8. And a tenth of 40 is 4. Well, that's a pretty one. Tom decides to take the very center with the 4. Okay? A tenth of 40 is 4. It's Jules' turn. Jules rolls a 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Back to the 24. And Jules is looking at the board again. Half of 24, a third of 24, a fourth of 24, a fifth of 24, an eighth of 24, a tenth of 24. Well, Jules is looking, and there are no pretty numbers here. She does kind of like this 12 here, because maybe she can get one, two, three, four in a row this way. So she's going to take half of 24 and put her marker there. It's Tom's turn. Tom rolls the dice. A two. One, two. The mark is now on 36. And Tom is thinking about 36 in, in terms of half of 36 is 18. Well, we don't see any 18s on the board. A third of 36 is 12. We do like 12s. A fourth of 36 is 9. A fifth of 36, not so pretty. Eighth of 36, not quite. A tenth of 36, not quite. So Tom is looking at all the choices, and Tom likes one-third of 36 because that makes 12. And we can see that Tom now has two in a row, hoping to make maybe four in a row this way. Jules' turn. Jules rolls a four. One, two, three, four to the 16. And Jules is looking at her choices. She's got two in a row right now. She likes the eight and the six. If we're looking at 16, which fractional part of 16 would give her maybe an 8 or a 6? She's liking half of 16 because that gives her the 8. And now she's got three in a row, hoping for a 6 maybe the next turn. It's Tom's turn. Tom rolls the dice. A 3. 1, 2, 3. 24 is popular in this game. And Tom's interested in a 9 or a 10. With 24, can we make a 9 or a 10 with half, a third, a fourth, a fifth, an eighth, or a tenth? Not really. So Tom's going to have to do something different. Tom's looking at where his pieces are, and he likes the number 8 here. So Tom is going to take one-third of 24 and put a marker here for the 8. So in this game, Jules and Tom will keep going back and forth, 
And if they need more markers, make sure you have plenty of markers. They'll keep covering the board up until someone gets four in a row. And they'll keep moving their way around, trying to find the fractional parts of these numbers on the outside of the triangle. So this is the game Fraction Action. And for this game, you need some paper, someone to play with, some tokens, dice, something to write with, a marker to move around the triangle, and, um, oh yeah, a bear. Enjoy this game.